Today we are checking out the Black Flag Archery Hemorrhage Broadhead. It's a very unique looking broadhead. It, it's got some curved blades going on, some really thin tips, a nice bleeder. It's a one and a quarter inch cut by a three quarter, three quarter inch cut bleeder blade. It says it's aerospace engineered for perfect flight. It's got 0 0.042 thick razor sharp blades, a fuller tip technology for max blood explosion. The packaging is really nice on this and they did a good job like doing the advertisement. I'll give them that. What's interesting to me, however, is apparently somebody had reached out to Black Flag and asked them if they'd be interested in sending me a pack to test. And the response I guess they got was it's bad for business to do that. So I just bought a pack anyways. Uh, they're $37.99 a three pack. I found a staff member and I got 10% off of that. So whatever that equates to plus shipping. Right there's your entry on leather. Right there's your entry on gel. Let me come up top here. Your wound channel is this, not that. That up top there, that's from the other side. So it's tough to see kinda. Eh, you can kinda see it there better. It's not a giant wound channel for a four blade. It's exactly what I expect from the broadhead though. Got just the slightest amount of deflection. Those those uh, fletchings there on the back are kind of cockeyed coming off of the board. That hole right there, that punched a big old hole. That tip is doing work for sure. As far as the broad head goes, the tips of the blade are a bit curled, but other than that, I don't see any damage at all. Um, you may notice that the broad head blades look weird. It's because these collapse forward so they're not barbed. Let's talk about the Black Flag Hemorrhage Broadhead. You know, overall, it honestly surprised me. I didn't expect as much durability out of these blades as I got. There was some tip curling. I mean, that's super to be expected. There's not a whole lot of material down here, but it wasn't anything catastrophic. They were not very sharp out of the package, and I highly attribute that to the thick blades, which help with durability, but changes your bevel angle to the point where it's hard for it to really get sharp. And these broadheads, I would just say, are not sharpenable. I mean, I'm sure you probably could. I'm definitely not going to try though. Uh, they did maintain that edge very well. And again, that's due to that, that bevel angle and that blade thickness. You know, only losing 50 after all the testing is very solid. Overall, I'm really impressed with the broadheads. I like the tip as well. I think it's a good bone breaking tip. I just wish they were sharper out of the package. They're probably gonna be a no-go for me just from that sharpness, but if they were to fix that, I'd shoot them in a heartbeat. 